Welcome to the first video in Mobidax tutorial series. How to deploy a centralized cryptocurrency trading platform using open source software. In this video I will show you how you can customize the user web UI with your color scheme and logo. This is a much needed preparation step before we can actually start deploying. When it comes to front-end, you have three options. Option 1. Default UI, base app, the default front-end component developed by Openware. For this deployment, we will use version 2.3 of base app and our goal is to be fully compatible with version 2.4, PCO-based backend and other compatible components. All corresponding links can be found in the description of this video. Option 2. Mobidux Web UI, upgraded front-end component powered using Flutter by Google. It is the world's first front-end that covers iOS, Android and web applications from a single code base. Simple to maintain, simple to customize, future of trading software. We will dive deeper into this subject in future videos. Option 3. Build your own front-end. In future videos, we will teach you how to build your own front-end for this stack. Here we have a branding for the project that we will be customizing front-end for. So let's go right into it. Okay, so let's clone base app and uh, this base app project is hosted on our GitLab. So pay attention to that, please. It's going to be publicly available. However, you do have to sign in onto our GitLab. And after that, you should be able to clone the project. So let's do just that. All right, my SSH key right here. And there we have it. Let's open it. So um, there are a couple of things you should be aware of when um, customizing this base app. Uh, first of all, uh, the places where you change your logo, they are right here. You have your logo.svg and logo logolight.svg. Uh, these are two different logos for your dark and uh, light mode. If you have them different, if you have them the same, then you just uh, substitute the same logo for both names. That's what I'm going to do. And then we have our styles themes. Uh, folder and here we have our basic theme and light theme. Basic theme is your just regular dark theme and light one is uh, the theme for the light mode. Alright so let's get customizing that. Um, right so right here I've prepared uh, already um, the files for this particular project in order you know to not fuss about um, during this video but for you I do encourage that you uh, play around with it these are all the colors you have so uh, make sure you know to get familiar and understand what color stands for what and then you'll get the perfect color combination uh, okay so first of all let's spin off the actual base app so that we can see how our color how our colors change uh, live um, and yeah and we can you know adjust maybe some things if we need to uh, <clears throat> same for logo as you can see right here i have my logo svg i want it actually it just as a source source code for this SVG so that I don't have to rename and download and so on. I just go right here to my logo. I paste this in. Uh, then I go to my logo light and I paste this in. And let's see. And now when I start my uh, base up, I should already see uh, the logo that I want. So let's confirm that. Base up takes a little while to spin up, so be patient. Uh, it has to compile all the assets and so on, uh, but not a big deal. Uh, we can wait. So I don't want quite yet to change the colors. I want you to see live how uh, those update. But I actually, I've put some neat um, hints for you to understand uh, a bit 
the color scheme. So you can see here I made uh, some small comments so that you can you know, understand a little more on how the um, color structure works. All right, let's see if our base app is ready. Yeah, it should be ready. Yeah, so as you can see here, we all have SVG uh, logo um, successfully is installed right here. So that's for our sponsor of this video series. And we haven't yet changed the colors. So let's do just that. And I go again to my basic.postcss. I open it up here and substitute and let's see the live update of colors yep there you have it so we updated colors and they are more suitable to this particular project color scheme however if you switch to the white mode you can still see that we have uh, base up colors so we need to fix that and that should be an easy fix actually let's just copy the already pre-made file that I have right here and let's substitute this right here all right and there we have it you can see well this the uh, white mode it doesn't have that that many changes but as you can see accent colors have changed here and also some colors have changed here as well um, more you know drastic changes are seen right here that's it for the first tutorial. Hope that now you can successfully customize your web UI with your logo and color scheme. Stay tuned for the second video where I will show you how to provision database and key management service for our secret storage. So hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, leave comments or join our Telegram community. Most importantly, subscribe to our channel to get notified of the next video release. See you next time.